Hello everyone, we are Group T and today we are going to talk, talk about semiconductor integrated circuit engineering. And there are our contents. Uh, first, uh, microelectronic circuit and second, integrated circuit technology and third, design and layout of the integrated circuit and fourth, design of VLSI. Um, in uh, electronic engineering is one of the greatest theories of physics in history. So um, there are a lot of forces in the world, and these forces are fundamentally caused by the interaction of the four basic forces of nature: um, gravity forces, gravity gravitational forces and strong force and electromagnetic force and weak force. So in semiconductor integrated circuit engineering, uh, we mainly deal with uh, electromagnetic force. First, I will explain about microelectronic circuit. Uh, the most important fe features of an um, electronic system are that it should be lightweight and thin and short and small. So, and it should be reliable and have high economic efficiency and high performance. And this figure shows uh, important development process of the microelectronic circuit. So the early semiconductor was developed at Bell's lab. So it has uh, developed, developed from transistor to chip bone and is getting smaller. So when processing semiconductor, the first step is growing the silicon input. Mm, on silicon wafer, reticles are made like this. Uh, and there are numerous processes in the reticle. Um, there are microelectronic circuits. That is I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mm, there are microelectronic circuit elements and register, capacitor, and bipolar transistor, and most transistor. Mm, this figure shows the difference between SI and value magnetic substrate. SI is used in general field and gallium arsenide is used in professional field. I'm second presenter Kim ji Hong. The uh, more so is the observation that the number of transistors in a dense integral circuit doubles about every two years. Uh, the observation is named after Gordon Moore, the co-founder of Fairchild Semiconductor and CEO of Intel. Uh, as you can see, year passes, microprocess accumulation of processor and memory increase. Uh, now we are going to talk about integral circuit techniques. This is description of bipolar and MOS. In integrated circuit techniques, there are two main techniques, bipolar and MOS. As I mentioned last slide, there are five types of bipolar and three types MOS. And combined form of bipolar and MOS, BIMOS have two types. Uh, this graph shows power consumption and delay time of every gate types. Next, we are going to talk about integrated circuit design and production. 
Uh, in integrated circuit plan, there are four subjects. In the matter of general quality, we will talk about structure here, key, and abstraction. In the matter, matter of hard hardware quality, we will talk about topology and layout. Uh, in structure here, key, uh, we consider plan unit, relationship of class, and order of looking downward or upward. In abstraction, we consider con constructure, act, and physical. And we consider topology, connection of circuit elements and connection of polygon. And we have to draw a layout figure data of two dimensional based on the design rule. Based on the integrated circuit plans I mentioned before, we go into production process. First, wafer production. It consists of four process like that. And next, wafer test and sorting. Third, chip assembly and test. And finally, quality device stabilization. The next topic is VLSI design. Hello, my name is Chang Yonhe and I'm the third presenter of TMT. So first, I will talk about application specific integrated circuit. So, as you can see, it is gate level in design data. Um, there are three types in ASIC. Uh, for custom IC, semi custom IC, and uh, FPLD. And uh, we can uh, divide it into two expands uh, fixed, fixed expands and incre incremental expands. So, can charges mass generation by cost engineering cost? costs are applied in a fixed expense. And, and volume level and market pressure and manufacturing cost are applied in incremental uh, expense. And there, there is a uh, ACIC design method compar com comparisons. Uh, we can orange uh, method in this aspect integration before design production process progress and plan duration photo, pro, prototype development duration development expense and chip unit cost so almost aspect uh, in ASIC is better than FPLD and this is flow of real SI design process uh, it can be divided into three uh, according to design specification. And uh, this is back end design and this is front design. And in VLSI plans, there are four types in uh, progress. So, first, Algorithm level design verification and functional level design and verification. Game level design and verification. And last one is layer level design and verification. And this is SOC for wireless application. SOC is system on chip. So SOC includes the computer and all the necessary additional electronic uh, components. So as you can see, uh, so many components like uh, R filter, AeroPass, Texner, and so on are in one chip. And me uh, is com com um, compound word between zigzag and B. So 
Need be solution need low power and weak communication in wide range. This is the example of GBSOC solution. And cheap floor plan and pad assign. Floor plan decides uh, these uh, components. So the direction of input and output of each block and the size of each block noise coupling and interference from internal blocks and number of paths and pins. And chip packets. Chip packets means that the die separate from the wafer is placed in the packets and the wire are bonded and molded. So there are some ways uh, to package the die. So next presenter will Describe about chip packets. In process of the chip packets, the die attachment and wire bonding and molding is done. The die attachment is that the side <coughs> is that the wave, the die wafer is attached to the packets to take a heat from the die to outside. The wire bonding is that. The bio wafer is connected to the package electrically. The epoxy is used in the die attachment and the gold is used in wire bonding. And finally, the molding is done to take, uh, as a cover of the package and epoxy or ceramic is used. The tears the TSOP package is smaller and thinner than the DIP package. The DIP means dear line package. So this package is used to work better than the IP in the small system. And QFNL means cross plan low with package. Because the size of the circuit board becoming more smaller, so the more smaller package is needed. The CSP means chip scale package, meaning that the size of the package is similar to the size of, size of the chip. The BGA means for greater array, meaning that using solder board, this solder board performs both die attachment and wire bonding. So this package is very convenient and simple. The COB means chip on board meaning that the chip is attached to not package but circuit board. So this package is used for making lowest type of system. The SIP means system in a package, meaning that the passive elements are combined to the single package together. So this package is an alternative solution for SOC. And SOC means the system on chip. The SMT means surface mount technology. Uh, and this package don't require the force. So this package is just attached to the surface of circuit board. These are PCB circuit board and schematic. As you can see, the package chip is uh, connected to the various elements, so design the circuit is a very complicated process. This picture shows the Intel strategies for semiconductor. The feature size is becoming more smaller from 25 nanometer to 7 nanometer, and this process will continue. For miniaturization for semiconductor, the quantum, emission quantum, in quantum transistor is the future trend semiconductor. And also, the single electron transistor, named SET, SET, is another future trend semiconductor because this transistor has an advantage for, for lowest, high, uh, lowest power consumption. Thank you for listening.